The Boise VA continues to work through the COVID-19 pandemic, but as the virus spreads, it becomes more difficult to care for veterans. Military reporter Steve Dent talked with the VA's chief of staff who pleads with the community to take the pandemic seriously. Dr. Andrew Wilper grew up in Boise. He has been at the Boise VA for 12 years, but this year has been different than any other year. We have had a number of uh, staff who have had to be out home because they've gotten COVID and a number of others who have gotten, uh, uh, who have been out on quarantine as a result of their exposures. And this has had multiple kind of domino effects. The Boise VA has hired additional staff, converted services into a robust telehealth network but they have also had to postpone elective surgeries and some of the other services for veterans. It does make an impact. So COVID-19 has uh, resulted in delayed care for uh, some of our patients. Veterans make up 10% of Idaho's population, but it's an older demographic. Vietnam vets equal 40% of Idaho veterans, but their average age is now 70 years old. And right now the VA has more hospitalizations from COVID-19 than they've ever had. And that's incredible incredibly troublesome. Uh, I will tell you COVID for people who are doubting this, the reality of this infection, COVID is real and it is deadly and it is, uh, it has taken the lives of some of our veterans. We currently have an outbreak of the infection at our state veterans home. And currently we, the Boise VA hospital is sending help to the state home to assist their clinical operations. So Dr. Wilper pleads with the public to take the necessary precautions, avoid large gatherings and follow health district guidelines. Putting on a mask is a minor inconvenience to help stop and slow the spread of a disease that is dramatically impacting hospital operations here at the Boise VA and the health of our veterans and staff. The staff has been in the trenches since March, working through this pandemic, which shows no signs of slowing down as Idaho continues to see a large number of cases. We are very concerned about um, their morale and uh, the potential for burnout because there really haven't been many breaks in the last six months and now things appear to be getting worse. Steve Dent, Idaho News 6. The Boise VA has helped join the fight against COVID in other ways by providing tens of thousands of tests for the state. The VA has also sent ventilators to Eastern Idaho. And as Dr. Wilper mentioned, they are assisting at the state veterans home operated by the Idaho Division of Veterans Services. 